everyone, today I'm going to show you how I dip dye my hair. So I'm using Stargazer in magenta and I've just mixed it in with some conditioner. Any conditioner is fine, it doesn't matter which one. And I do this so that the shade of pink comes out a little bit lighter than it would if it was straight from the bottle. So the first thing that I do is I split my hair into two pigtails. Did that ungracefully, didn't realise I had two in my hand. Ouch. Yep, yeah, and I do this so that it presents the dip dye kind of having a straight line across it, if that makes sense. Because your hair is kind of all bunched together, it kind of gives it more levels and it just looks a bit better. You can't actually notice, but the end of my hair here, I don't know, can you see? No, not at all, it looks the same. But this has actually been dyed a shade of blonde quite a while ago now, maybe like four months ago. But what this does is basically, even though the pigmentation itself hasn't changed and you can't really see, um, it does lighten the hair, so the colour will stick to the hair better. So if you have hair similar colour to mine, maybe, I doubt, I doubt it matters so much if you're blonde, but if you have hair my colour, definitely lighten the ends first because it will make a world of difference. So then I will just take, at the moment I'm using a plastic bag because I don't have any <laughs> gloves, which is not advisable, but if you don't have any gloves but you have sandwich bags, go for it. But yeah, try and put it on both sides the best you can because obviously if you leave one side on longer than the other then the colour is going to be stronger and you're going to look a bit daft. Now I kind of use the pigtails as a guideline because I like having my dip dye start quite high but obviously if you want small dip dye right at the bottom then just do them super low, it shouldn't matter. I mean you might look a bit silly but <laughs> you'll, you'll still get the same outcome. Yeah, so I like just doing this to make sure that there's equal coverage all the way around. I tried not to get it on my hands, but hey, sometimes that's just not possible. If you can see, wait, I'll hold it up. So you can see that there's my natural colour and then there's the pink and it should all fade together quite nicely. Obviously use all of the dye that you have. I did quite a lot of conditioner, so this should come out hopefully as like a nice fruit salad shade of pink, if that makes sense. You know the sweets, like fruit salad sweets. That's what I think this is, because it's like pink and then my, my orange of my hair, so it's kind of reminds me of a fruit salad. So that should be all done now. I think we've got equal coverage at the tops. Run your hands down them to make sure it's equally distributed, because you don't want any bits that are really harsh and bits that have got nothing on them. If you didn't mix conditioner in with the dye, then what I would advise is, you see this chunk here? Just cover this in conditioner, because then it will help the hair like fade into a nice gradient, rather than being like your natural hair colour and then boom colour. Obviously if you've got dark hair, that doesn't matter because it'll look cool either way, but with light hair you've got to be a bit careful because if it doesn't fade, it kind of looks a bit tacky. So I think we are done, and then obviously leave this on for, I, I tend to do about half an hour, it says 20 minutes, but safe than sorry. So leave this on for about half an hour and then go wash it out and then we'll see what it looks like at the end. <laughs> So this is the end result and it's about 98% dry but it's, my head takes so long to dry I just couldn't bother drying it properly. This is the colour that it came out so it's got that mixture between pink and orange like I said I wanted. If I was to have put this on without the conditioner it would have come out but this colour here so it would have been a lot darker and it wouldn't have gone with my hair as well. And just a little tip if you do end up getting any colour dye on your skin all you need to do is get a cotton bud and dip it in some nail varnish remover and I know this sounds horrendous but if you just dab it on it will come straight off like I swear it's the best thing I ever discovered because I used to get it all over my hands and then I would have coloured hands for ages after because soap does nothing to dye. That is what my hair looks like now and if you want to get the same colour I guess I've shown you if not I don't know. Okay bye.